Hey guys, I'm back. What? I thought you said that last video was the final one. You know, the one where you're sitting there in the chair in your basement with the gray sweater on, the close-up of the chocolate Stanley Cup. I thought you said that was the last video. Well, yes, that was supposed to be the last video. But a lot has happened since then. And truth is, guys, I have some very important information I want to share with you. I wouldn't come on back on camera here on my YouTube page, on my YouTube channel, if I didn't feel it was necessary and important to share it with you. So with that said, let me start by saying that if anybody's out there watching this, even one person, the reason you're watching this is because of one man. This guy right here, Tony. See him there? Smiling face, Cubs cap on. Now some of you might be saying, that's a familiar face, where I know that guy from? Well, you'd be correct. He was in my master bedroom video because this photo that you're seeing here actually sits in my ma in my bedroom, my master bedroom, atop the center of my personal autograph collection. Again, we saw this in the master bedroom video. And Tony's the guy responsible for getting me some of those personal autographs. Name them the Muhammad Ali autograph, the Tony Esposito, the Jimmy Jimmy and Trumpstick. Tony and I went together for Bobby Hall's autograph. It's that same Tony. He's the reason why any of you are viewing this on YouTube. Because if it wasn't for Tony, quite frankly, you would have to either come to my home to see this collection, or I'd be telling you now, explaining to you now, how my video, my YouTube collection video, is just languishing and headed for the, the video graveyard. No, this guy's responsible for getting it up on YouTube. He is. Now, about Tony. Tony's nickname is The Mayor. Because, like a mayor of a town or city, Tony is a man who gets things, who gets things done. And he's not just the mayor, he's also a fixer. You guys familiar with that former Showtime drama called Ray Donovan? Well, Tony's like Ray Donovan. He's a guy who fixes things, you know, just without the crazy family and not really a propensity for violence. But Tony can fix things. And Tony is the guy that I came to when my project needed some help. So I can, I can best frame this story in, in, the, in the concept of a timeline here. So let me, let me give you the timeline. As I'm sitting here delivering this video, it's June of 2021. Okay. The genesis of this YouTube collection video began in spring of 20, of 2020. And it was actually the idea of my wife. She suggested that I make a collection video of my entire collection and put it on YouTube. And that was in like late March of 2020. And so I thought about it, kicked the idea around, and in early April of last year, I started shooting the video that is this collection. So I agreed to the idea of shooting the video of my collection, and I began with the very first film footage was in April. It was around mid or, mid or uh, earlier mid-April of 2020. And actually, my wife was the one shooting all the original footage. So in, those, in that initial intro video, where you see me upstairs delivering my intro of what's everything's in my collection, what you're gonna see, and then the living room with the Funkos, and into the master bedroom with the autographs and the sports figures, then into Shore May, yeah, that's my wife. She's the one doing all the camera work, and I'm just talking on camera and showing you things. And so by the time we get to Showroom May with the sports figs and the other action figures and die cast, my wife has pretty much had enough. And she kind of passes the torch on to me mostly because of my Stanley Kubrick-like approach to making this video and, and demeanor. And so, all right, I had enough of you. Here's the camera. You know how to work it. And so from that point, I picked the torch up, and, and this is probably May now of 20, and start shooting the rest of this video of my entire collection. And I shoot video all the way until about mid-November of 2020. So we're into fall of 20 now. When I shoot my last videos right here in the basement, right in this area that you see, and in those videos, you recall, the last two videos, I tell you about how now I'm done shooting everything, showing you my collection, and now this guy, Rocky. Yes, Rocky with that um, really impressive uh, collection of life-size horror film icon -like likenesses and statues. Yeah, that's same Rocky. He was going to be the one to bring all my footage to YouTube, like my AV tech guy. That was the intention back in November. That was the goal. So now... Rocky signs on to do this in November, and from November to December, Rocky and I kind of collaborate and start laying out the framework for how we're going to bring this to YouTube. So Rocky kind of gets the ball rolling and lays down the very like framework and foundation. But in January of 2021, 
Rocky informs me that he's got to back out of the project, that he can no longer be my guy, the guy I talked about bringing this to YouTube. And I completely understood. You know, I appreciate all of Rocky's contributions to this. And it was just unfortunate, but Rocky had to, had to pull out of the project. And so now it's January. And so let's do the, the timeline. That's, that's six months ago because we're in June now. It's January. And I have all this raw footage. And yet I have no way to get it to YouTube. Um, because as far as me, m my son calls me a boomer. I am in no way tech savvy. I, I don't do videos or, or social media or any of this stuff. I have very rudimentary skills with tech. So I'm going to need somebody to bring this to YouTube, essentially. And then there's no way I'm going to be able to teach myself. I just know it's not going to happen. So I'm going to need a guy to take Rocky's place in this project. So it's January of 21, again, six months ago. And I'm without an AV guy. And it is this point then that I go to Mr. Tony here, Ray Donovan. And truth be known, Tony had no idea, none, that I was shooting this collection, this video of my collection that was to be broadcast on YouTube. And he's been over my home and he's seen my collection, but he had no idea. I was going to kind of save it as a surprise for him. But now I have to go to him and inform him of, of my project and more or less ask him, so Tony, do you know of a guy? Because when you go to Tony, it's do you know of a guy that can slide into Rocky's place and here's what happened, he backed out. And Tony's trying to get his arms around this, so to say. Well, let me first see your footage. So Tony reviews all my, like not all of it, but he reviews a lot of my raw footage. And at this point that Tony says to me, well, as far as I can, as best as I can gather, what you're going to need here is a video editor. And not just any video editor. You're going to need a pretty darn good one, like a borderline world-class one. And I said, okay, great. So do you know of anybody that I can use on this? And he said, well, so it happens that today's your lucky day. I'm your man. I'm going to be your video editor. Because video editing has been a hobby of mine for the past 20 or so years. And that's the truth. It has been. It has been his hobby for the past 20 years. So he understands what a massive project he's undertaking here to, to uh, edit all my raw footage. Because let's be honest, all my raw footage is about... Well, it's probably over 500 individual three-minute or under videos, which you can't just drop 500 plus three-minute videos on YouTube and call it a YouTube collection video. That's not going to happen. You have to essentially create larger videos, which is what you guys viewed, the larger videos. You have to build the chains with the links. And so that's what Tony realizes he's got to do with the video editing and decides, well, I'm going I'm to undertake the project and, and I'm going to do this for you. And Tony... He is a world-class video editor. He says, no, that's a little much. I'm just a veteran video editor. When, now, six months later, looking back and realizing what it took for this video to come to YouTube and for you guys to watch this, it was nothing short of a world-class video editor. And, and at least on a, on a few occasions during the spring of this year, the, this, this video collection was on the brink. This YouTube video was on the brink. It really was. It, was, it would, looked like it was dead on arrival. Was, was not going to happen. And so many times, Tony saved it. He did. And he saved it not just because he's a world-class editor. He saved it because he came to love it, to embrace the project, to love what he was doing. And, and I, can't, I really just can't thank him enough for that. And so when I say on the brink, my, my YouTube video collection was on the brink, at a few different junctures this past spring. Let me just clarify to my viewing audience what I mean by that. Um, I did an, uh, a system update on my on my device, a seemingly innocuous system update because typically that's what your phone wants you to do. Not knowing when I did it, that system updates can cause videos in your cloud to corrupt or to inexplicably drop out altogether. I didn't know that. And so one of the videos that got corrupted is maybe the single most important video in this whole long, what was this, a 17 hour video now? 17 hour long video. And that's the intro to my basement video. When I come down the stairs and you guys and my viewing audience there see my basement for the first time, that was one of the videos that got corrupted. And Tony, through sheer skill and, and willpower, pulled that video out of the fire as well as a couple others. And he was able to retrieve them. And all I had to do was get a text from Tony saying, it's handled. And that's all I needed to hear from him. 
And then also, too, uh, there was other problems. With the, the app we're using to, to build these longer videos, I don't think was quite designed or made for a 17-hour long YouTube video. And so it was frequent problems with that that would frustrate Tony. He'd be up till 1, 1.30 in the morning with this maddening app, but yet he wouldn't give up. He kept doggedly stringing these videos together. And so, again, going back to the timeline, he begins this in about late January of this year in 21, and he concludes the video editing in May. So it, took, it takes him five months to perform all the necessary video editing. So he ended the video editing just last month because we're in June now, okay? And now the video is ready to be put up for, for on YouTube for, you know, for viewing. So once again, it, it wouldn't be here for viewing and you guys wouldn't be watching this if it wasn't for this guy right here, Tony. Um, and, and also I just want to say, Tony has an eclectic group of personal heroes. Check this out. Here are Tony's personal heroes. Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers, uh, Warriors guard Steph Curry, boxing great Manny Pacquiao, baseball legend Andre Dawson, and ba bas former basketball star Elton Brand. That's quite an eclectic group of heroes, but that's who Tony likes. And also I want to say this, Carm, if you're out there watching this, yeah, Carm, this is the guy that affectionately refers to you as a Dago bastard from Canada. So that's it. Yes, swear to God, this is the official last video. I, I told you before I wouldn't lie to you. And um, as far as the length goes, I just wanted to say this, guys. I am aware that in the video I said, my mom asked me, so how long do you think this video is going to be? And I said, well, mom, it's going to be like watching The Godfather's parts one, two, and three back to back to back. So three hours per film. That's nine hours of footage there. Um, I'm, I'm aware, guys. I'm aware that I grossly underestimated the length. It's more like Godfather 1, 2, and 3, and then you go into watching Goodfellas, that's three hours, Casino, three hours, and most of the Irishmen is four hours. Yeah, I realize it's a 17-hour video. Was not aware of it. It's as much a shock to me as it is to you. Anyway, I want to thank you guys. I really want to thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel, my YouTube page, and watching this ridiculously long video. Please leave comments, suggestions, feedback, positive or negative. I absolutely will respond to them. And once again, I hope it was entertaining. Can't thank you, can't thank you guys enough for tuning in. And that's a wrap. This is the collection. Thank you.